Alright guys, welcome back. Uh, we're just going to go over a quick one here. This is going to be tutorial number 8. Now, uh, we just barely finished going over our previous script, uh, which was a uh, cooking script. And the one thing that I feel is one of the most important things you do after you complete a script, and that is go in and comment your code. So as you can see, I've already gone through and I've ad added comments all the way through this thing. And the thing is, is that if you don't add comments to your code, you might come back to this later on and you might not understand your own coding. As weird as it sounds, you'd be surprised how often it happens. Um, and so while I've gone through and commented all of this code, um, even now, I mean, I could still come back in here and I may not be able to follow this exactly the very first time I look at it. Not until I've had, you know, a little bit of time to digest it again. But um, that's why it's so important to come through these and comment this code as best you can while it's still fresh in your mind. Um, the longer you wait to comment your code, the more um, the more you're going to have to research it before commenting it. So it's it's always a good idea to come in here and comment your code either while you're writing it, preferably, or immediately after. Um, so just wanted to bring that to you and say yes, get out there, comment your code as soon as you can because the longer you sit on it, the, the more you're going to forget. So um, I'm just going to leave you here with uh, just a quick uh, playthrough of this script. And uh, yeah, so we're just going to run it through here. We've got the method here set up. We're going to talk to this guy here. He's going to give us some items and uh, he's going to teach us the recipe. When we open up this uh, recipe scene, we animate onto the screen. We then display cooking plus the level of the actor. We display the items or recipes in which we can fact or, uh, create as well as display the contents of that over on the right hand side with the icon, the description of the item, the ingredients that are required, how many of that we have and how many are required for this particular item. We can then cook it don't cook and here we've got a progress bar that changes color when it's acceptable to gather the item we can also claim it too early or too late and on every one of these different scenarios you've got a different outcome in which you can have um, as soon as we do reach our level let me just go ahead and get a couple more here once you do reach your level then the level up here does appropriately refresh the list appropriately refresh to now show the item that you can now cook and then you can select that and cook that item as well as the uh, previous cook don't cook items off of that you can claim the item as of right now you've got a full second in order to select that but you can easily change that from within the script and that's our script so um, again I'm gonna toss this out there if you do have any script requests that you'd like to see filled whether uh, those be edits to a battle system whether those be entirely custom menus because as you can see we do those too um, we will go through them teach you how to build them and this will give you a much better understanding of how to use Ruby specifically in RPG Maker Okay, well that's all I have for you guys tonight, so we will see you later. Goodbye.